H2K Infosys provides world-class online IT training, staffing and software testing solutions to customers worldwide. H2K Infosys, how we are different from our competitors. 100% job oriented training, hands-on project work, cloud test lab, resume preparation and review, mock interviews, robust syllabus, one-time fee and lifetime access to classes, access to recorded sessions of live classes. H2K Infosys has won the trust of thousands of students worldwide. For a free demo class, visit us at h2kinfosys.com. Hello, hi everybody. This is uh, Priya here. So we will continue with the manual testing that we were discussing. Yes, which module did we discuss yesterday? Okay, which module did we cover yesterday? Okay, is the test plan? Okay, so I think this is the one that we created, the Bombino Express. Okay, so there are two more features here in the test case which I will show you. We will see how to call the test which can be used alternative to precondition. So another way of writing a precondition it is. And one more thing, create the parameter. This is for test data. Okay. So in the previous class I showed you that we have to create the test data like this and then call the precondition over here by writing it like this over here correct this is what we had discussed this is one way i will show you another way okay you can either go for this one or the another one that i am going to show whichever is convenient now for example we have here bombino express home page right there is no precondition over here but there is a test data look at it carefully so that you do not miss the steps Please do not open your tool and look on my screen carefully so that I will show you how to do it. Okay? Yeah. So here for the test data, I can add the parameter. There is a button here which says add parameter. So I write here the parameter name. Okay? So I have added the parameter now. The value of this will be entered when we go to the test lab. Now I will not enter the value. Whenever we will be using this test case, we will use the value. Okay. And the reason why I am creating the parameter is instead of, you know, writing it manually over here, www.bominoexpress.com, we are going to create the parameter in which the value will be stored. Okay. I'll show you again. See here, I come to our services. Here, okay, we do not have a test data, but we have a precondition. What is a precondition? Bombino Express homepage load. Okay. Here, there is a button which says call to test. We click on the call to test. Then we have the Bombino Express here. I check this one so that I can see the list. This is a precondition Bombino Express homepage load. I select it. 
click on the ok button do you see now it is asking url here we will enter So do you see here, we have called it. Now there is no need of again, you know, writing the precondition over here. If we write the test steps, that is sufficient. Is it clear? So instead of writing a precondition, I can call the test like this directly. Instead of writing the parameters, I can Sorry, instead of writing the test data, I can write the parameters directly. I will show it once again. Everybody observe it carefully. Okay. Shall I show you again? Please observe it carefully. See here, what is the precondition? Bombino Express, our services. Okay. So, our services is here. And for this one, we will call the test. Click here, call to test. Bomino Express our services because it is mentioned here, right? Precondition is our service means this step should be executed first. I drag it over here. So now there is no need of, you know, writing here precondition separately because it's called here. This is another way of writing the precondition. Either you can write like this directly the precondition or like I am showing you, you can call it like this. Then here do we see there is a test data. So instead of hard coding the value like this, I can say parameter. Select country, click on the OK button. Do you see? Select country. And here also we have the select country. I insert a parameter. Select country USA. Click on the OK button. Do you see? So wherever it is test data, you can replace it with the parameter. Wherever it is precondition, you can replace it with the call to test. Any doubts anybody? Okay, see here Russell, yes, what you should do is, whenever you have the plans to call it, you should create it separate, then only you can call it, okay, if you create it separately, you can do the call, otherwise you have to mention it directly in the precondition in the description, do we need to write the precondition for every test case, yes Shilpa, do you remember in the manual testing, we were writing the test cases, right? wherein we had the precondition for all the test case. Here also it should be there. Okay. Then why we do this parameter? See, it is one of the way. It is not mandatory you do it like this, but it is a feature that is available in the quality center for the test data which I am showing. Okay. So you can use it if you are comfortable or you can directly write the test data. Whichever is fine with you, you can do it. It is one of a feature and I am showing it to you and this is a way how we create the test data using a parameter okay clear
practice this one, then I will tell you how to go further about this. Can you hear me, everybody? Okay, so I said uh, try to create the parameter and also try to call the test. Okay, and like I said you, the reason why we do it is, it is one of the way of calling the test. Okay, it's just one way, an alternate way. Way of mentioning precondition okay and this one another way of writing test data clear suchita srinivas paresh And uh, okay, I'll show it again if you want. See here. Here, do you see? Bombino Express rates country USA. I can call the test. The test is called. It is asking us the value. You can enter it or you can simply cancel it. And you can enter it later while we do it in the test lab. And here, so instead of writing a precondition, I can simply call the test. Now coming to the test data, for select origin, I can create a parameter. Select destination.
is it clear everybody so you can create the parameters for the test data it is one of the way okay either do it like this or yesterday we discussed precondition and test data directly into the description so any ways which is comfortable to you you can do that okay Okay, if anybody is not able to do, please let me know. Okay, Ramona, you have a doubt. I will make you the presenter. You can please share your screen. Yes, Ramona. I have unmuted you. Please ask your doubt. Yes. Yes, Priya. Uh, yes, yesterday during while creating test plan, uh, this domestic it should be below our services. So I tried to cut and paste it like this, but uh, I do not find paste button at all here. I mean, mm, here you cannot do anything, Ramona, because it is arranged in the alphabetical order. Oh, so it can be like uh, the steps need not that domestic need not be below our services, right? No. Okay, so this is fine. Yeah. Okay, and uh, now today's when we create this um, call to the test, so this is in between. So how do I get it in? Sorry. How do I get it above? Drag and drop it above. Do you see there is a gray color bar? There is a gray color line. No, don't click like that. Okay. See, there is a gr no. Go to that gray color line. This one. No, beside that. Yes. Now you drag it up using your mouse. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And uh, in on this page, there are like precondition for the first one is Bombino home page load, and for the second one is the I had done domestic, so domestic rates page load. So here, can we write uh, like for this? Here there is just one precondition for all the three test cases. So here there are for this test, for the first test case there is a different precondition, and for the next test case there is a different precondition. So we can write any number of preconditions, right? Yes. This page itself. Yes. Okay, so, uh, but we want that, con like, it will be just like this only, right, or how it will be? Okay, you can create and, uh, you can create and see it, how it looks. Okay, fine. Okay, yeah, it will be appearing for all the steps separately. Okay, fine. All right, yeah. Thank you. Srujana, are you getting the circular reference error? Yes. What kind of error are you getting, Sujana? Can you please tell me? Okay, Divya, please show me your screen. Let me check. Yes. 
Yes, Divya, please show me. Okay, click on that uh, icon there. Do you see? Below QC9 student 3? Yes. No, below that. Yes, this one. Please click on that. Click on the login. Okay. So what you do is Divya, on this computer you change the date. So do you see there is a scroll bar on the right side? Vertical scroll bar. Yes, scroll down please. Do you see there is a system date? Yes, click on that. Change date and time and change it to July 15 of previous month. Yes, July 15. Click on the OK button and try to log in. All right. Shilpa, please show me your error. Okay, see what you are trying to do is Shilpa, in the currency converter, you are again trying to call the same currency converter, it will give you error. Okay, if you try to call the test case in the same test case, it will start giving you error. You should call a different test case, not the same one. Wait, let me unmute you, okay. Yes, is it clear Shilpa? Shilpa, you have to unmute yourself. Uh, hello? Hello? Yeah. Hello? So you are saying me that uh, I need to write the uh, same country and the uh, uh, blank in a different test case, I mean in a different, uh, yes. different I mean write it separately then you can call it, okay. So that is why you know I always suggest simply write it like this precondition test, test data, otherwise you know this calling thing will be little bit complex so you should be very careful while you know we are creating the I mean organizing these steps we should be careful okay okay yeah so in this one so I need to write a currency converter and uh, should give this one 
for the new test in this one? Yes. What name should we give so that we can call that? Name could be anything. You can say a currency converter itself. Currency converter load, page load, currency converter link. Okay, so we can say this as the currency converter page load and the other one as currency converter and put all these test cases in that? Yes. Okay, yeah, thank you. Yes, you're welcome. Yes, Suchita, you can edit it, okay? Srilata, circular reference, I think this is solved. Okay, Lina. Yeah. Okay, can the precondition for a step be specified only if the precondition is another and not the step. Yes, right, Juvelna. Okay, it should be another test case. Okay, Shilpa, I think yours is resolved. Okay, Sri Lata precondition. Circular reference. You did not get Sri Lata. See here, I'll show here on my computer. Okay, look here. Now this is our services, right? In this our services, I click here call the test Bobino Express. I again call the our services. Do you see? In the our services, again I am calling our services. It will start giving me the error. We call it as a circular reference error. Is it clear? Yes. Srilata? You are calling a different one, then let me check. It is not possible then that you will get a error like that. Okay, Srilata, show me your screen. See, it is the same thing. Try to repeat the steps, Hello? please. Yeah. Okay, Srirata, yeah. please. Uh, yeah. yeah. The, the previous one is the call to test is our services. Hmm. But here in the next step, I am calling our services rates. So, when I press the call to test, yeah, our service rates. Okay, one second. Don't click on the OK button. Do okay. it again, please. In the previous steps, I am calling the our services. In these steps, I am calling the our services rates. Repeat the steps. No, 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 repeat the steps. Click on call to test. Yes, now call it. But don't click on the OK button. OK. Just select it. Now wait. Do you see the name of the test case there on the left side? It is our services rates. What are you yeah. calling here? Again, our services rates. OK. Okay, this is why you are getting the error. But in the previous steps also we are calling the same our services, right? In which one? That is, you are just writing the precondition. But here, sorry, here, okay, one okay. second. Yeah, see here, there is our services there, okay. Our service is different, our services rates is different. Okay. Okay, so here you are trying to again call the our services rates in the our services rates. Are you clear? H2K Emphasis provides world-class online IT training, staffing and software testing solutions to customers worldwide. H2K Emphasis, how we are different from our competitors. 100% job oriented training, hands on project work, cloud test lab, resume preparation and review, 
mock interviews, robust syllabus, one-time fee and lifetime access to classes, access to recorded sessions of live classes. H2K Infosys has won the trust of thousands of students worldwide. For a free demo class, visit us at h2kinfosys.com.